Okay, part six. Part six. Got the doors made. Got the hinges mocked up. Gonna be nice. I tried to follow suit six inches on all the rivets, especially on the doors. Both doors are exactly the same. So, so I made the the doors for the toolboxes. So it's about mm -hmm. near perfect. The only spot that I'm not happy with is right here, but after mounting it, I can hammer that flat a little bit. So, same deal. About every six inches, same. All right, so this is, uh, The DIY utility truck cap that I'm making. Everywhere where I mounted the rivets is uh, caulking slash adhesive uh, for metal, made just for metal. And some of the caulking oozed out right here. I wanted it to be caulking right here. So all right here on the roof is a, a thick bead, like a, uh, say, close to half inch in some spots probably so so, so far I, I didn't like how this turned out but it's homemade all right so to build this is a hatch of course it's going to get flipped this way and hung right there where the clamps are clamps are for that bent metal that goes from the roof down shot of the inside a lot of it's recycled metal that I've had or found some of it I've bought for the doors so this is all the tools that you're gonna need to do this project this is an electric powered rivet gun some uh, cordless drills will work with eighth inch bits, these are one eighth inch bits, a speed square hammer, wrenches, oh, your uh, hand brakes for sure, for uh, making, uh, making any bends in the metal. Our uh, hems, hems are bends for the hand brake snips, of course, for cutting your angles, because uh, this is a couple angles on this thing. A grinder for cutting the thicker stuff and uh, any cheap grinder will work and any cheap tools will work as long as you have everything here the welder uh, cheap everything's on a budget I already had all these tools borrowed the rivet gun but uh it's coming along just need some more hardware Put this back gate together and uh, see you on the next one.